Records are meant to be broken, but some records are simply too great to ever be broken. So in this video, let's go over eight of the most unbreakable records across Nippon professional baseball history. Leading off our list, Yutaka Fukumoto's 1,065 career stolen bases. Ricky Henderson is the world record holder in steals with an outrageous 1,406 swipes throughout his MLB career. But the only other player with over a thousand steals in any professional league is Yutaka Fukumoto. The longtime Honkyu Braves center fielder played for 20 seasons, averaging 58 steals per 130 games on a 78.1% efficiency. Fukumoto led the league in steals for 13 consecutive years from 1970 to 1982, but his most impressive season by far came in 1972 when he stole 106 bases on 131 attempts in just 122 games en route to the MVP award. That's an unreal pace of 0.87 steals per game, practically identical to Henderson's pace of 130 steals in 149 games a decade later. He also followed that up with 95 and 94 steal seasons. Who knows, maybe Fukumoto could have taken 131 bags if the Japanese baseball season was just a little longer. Regardless, nobody is going to surpass Fukumoto in Japan anytime soon. Victor Starfin's 83 career shutouts. Nicknamed the blue-eyed Japanese, Starfin was the first pitcher to reach the 300 win milestone in Japanese baseball history. Out of his 303 career victories between 1934 and 1955, Starfin kept the opposing team off the board for the entire game on 83 occasions, an incredible achievement. Obviously this was a very different era, but his 1940 campaign with Tokyo was truly astonishing as the ethnic Russian posted an 0.97 ERA across 436 innings with 41 complete games and 16 shutouts. Nowadays a pitcher is lucky to even get close to 16 shutouts throughout their entire career. Unfortunately, Starfin was sent to an internment camp during late World War II, which kept him off the diamond for over a year, but he returned in 1946 and played out the rest of his Hall of Fame career. Sadaharu O's 2,390 career walks. Now, Sadaharu O set many records throughout his career, including the world record setting 868 home runs, but the walk record may very well be the most unbreakable one of all. He has 915 more walks than Hiromitsu Ochii in second place. That means Ochii would have had to average over 90 walks a season for another 10 years just to tie him. Of course, O's insane walk count is greatly helped by the fact that he was intentionally walked 427 times throughout his career, including a 1974 campaign in which he drew 45 free passes out of 158 total walks. Only three players across MLB history have more walks in a single season. Ted Williams, Mark McGuire, and Barry Bonds. Talk about some elite company. Masahiro Tanaka's 28 straight winning decisions. Tanaka established himself as an all-time legend back in 2013 with a historic 24-0 season. But not only did Tanaka go undefeated, but he also won 28 consecutive decisions going back to the previous year. In fact, it wasn't until March of 2021 when Makun returned to the Rakuten Eagles following seven major league seasons that his streak was finally snapped. So he literally didn't lose a game in Japan for 3,163 days. And considering that Tanaka started his Yankees career with 16 straight quality starts, who knows how long that winning streak could have gone had Tanaka remained in Japan. He was truly one of the best pitchers on the planet during that stretch. Masahiro Kawai's 533 sacrifice hits. Sacrifices are not the flashiest stat by any means, but successfully laying down 533 bunts throughout a career is nothing to scoff at. Eddie Collins holds the MLB record for sacrifices with 512 and he played in the early 20th century. Kawhi played from 1984 to 2006, usually hitting second in the batting order. The shortstop was not the greatest hitter, but his ability to put the bat on the ball and make productive outs made him a very valuable asset. His 1991 season was particularly noteworthy as he dropped down 66 sacrifices in 126 games. The Yomiuri Giants had 120 sacrifices that year, so Kawhi made up more than half the team's total bunts. Small ball is still alive and well in Japan, but in the grand scheme of the sport, it is a dying strategy, so nobody will ever come close to Kawhi's record. Yutaka Inatsu's 401 strikeouts in a single season. Inatsu is one of the greatest Japanese pitchers of all time, as he not only posted over 200 wins for his career, but also recorded 193 saves after converting to a closer. 
but his 1968 sophomore campaign will definitely go down as one of the best ever. At just the age of 20, Inatsu tossed 329 frames to the tune of a 2.13 ERA with 10.3 war and 401 punchouts en route to the Sawamura Award. That gave him a strikeout rate of 31.9% or 11.0 Ks per 9, which to this day is the highest strikeout percentage in history for a qualified pitcher. He had 20 double-digit strikeout games that year, including a 12-inning, 213-pitch, 13-strikeout game on May 20th, and a 16-strikeout complete game effort on August 8th, just to highlight a few. And this season even tops Nolan Ryan's modern-era MLB record of 383 strikeouts. Yoshinobu Yamamoto led the league in Ks last year with 206. He would need to double that total to be Inatsu. Just think of how insane that is. Needless to say, nobody is getting enough of a workload these days to post 400 plus strikeouts. Makoto Kozuru's 161 RBI in a single season. In the inaugural MPB season, Kozuru blew the competition away, winning the MVP award with 51 bombs and 161 ribbies in 130 games. That's an incredible pace of 1.24 runs batted in per game. That's a 200 RBI pace over a 162 game modern MLB season, even trumping Hack Wilson's pace in his MLB record setting 191 RBI season. Now it certainly helped that Kazura hit in the middle of the lineup for a historically good Shochiku Robins offense that put up 908 runs, but is a monumental achievement regardless. Now Bobby Rose actually came awfully close to beating the record in 1999 when he drove in 153 runs in 134 games for the Yokohama Bay Stars. So maybe someone will break Kozuru's record one day, but it won't be easy by any means. And last but not least, Masaichi Kaneda's 400 career wins. Kaneda played for the Kokutetsu Swallows and Yomiuri Giants from 1950 to 1969, winning 400 games with a 2.34 ERA and 4,490 strikeouts, which is an unbreakable record in and of itself. It's an achievement these days for a pitcher to even get 200 wins, let alone 300 or 400. Kaneda had to average 20 wins a year for 20 seasons to reach that number. His best season came in 1958 when the then 24-year-old went 31-14 and, and a 1.30 ERA with 311 punchouts across 332 in a third innings. He was a 14-time 20-game winner, a 10-time strikeout title winner, a 3-time ERA title winner, and a 3-time Sawamura Award winner. What a legend. So there you have it, those are just 8 of the most unbreakable records in Japanese baseball history. Comment down below if there's any other records I missed, or if you think any of these records could possibly be broken one day. I would be shocked if they ever did. Special thanks to my patrons, Chris J, Jonathan Greenberg, Hinosato Yaku, Poker Pack Rat, Corgi Racing, Anthony Ping, Jake Royce, Marcus Hill, Yua Bird, Ryan Fox, Jeff W, Char Aznable, Juan Jose Sanchez Bracamontes, Christopher Woods, Samantha Garavay, Yuki's Submarine, Kud, Jem Morelos, Gabriel Foss, Kurt Berglin, Eduardo Granados, Kotaro Imahayashi Kim, J1, Tom Musa, Mike Braun, and Lucas Bora. If you'd like to become a patron yourself, please check out patreon.com slash baseballcosmo and check out Tom Musa's new Patreon, Whiff Rate. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more MPB content in English.